New Jersey residents are waking up Sunday to significantly tighter restrictions as officials try to slow the spread of the coronavirus. All non-essential retail businesses in the state are closed and residents are asked to only leave their homes unless absolutely necessary. Gov. Phil Murphy announced Saturday that the number of cases in New Jersey has grown to 1,327 with 442 additional positive tests and 16 total deaths. It's unclear how many people have recovered or are experiencing only mild symptoms. In the previous 10 days, New Jersey had gone from 29 confirmed cases to 1,327. The average day-over-day -day increase has been 51%. Some of that increase is likely due to increased testing. For several days, non-essential businesses had been allowed to remain open until 8 p.m. Murphy also strongly suggested early last week people stay off the roads between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. But under the stricter rules now in effect, all non-essential businesses in New Jersey had to be closed until further notice by 9 p.m. Saturday and there should be no travel except for people who have jobs deemed essential, to purchase food or for medical purposes. The essential businesses that remain open include grocery stores, food banks, pharmacies, gas stations, auto mechanics, convenience stores, banks, hardware stores, laundromats, office supply shops, pet stores, stores that sell supplies for young children and mail and delivering shops. Liquor stores have also been deemed essential. Libraries around the state were also ordered closed on Saturday. Murphy had previously ordered the closure of indoor malls, movie theaters, casinos, gyms, amusement parks, barber shops and more. Restaurants and bars that provide takeout can remain open. Construction sites will not be closed, and manufacturers, ports and logistics operations can continue operating with staff at minimal levels. A look at other coronavirus-related news. New Jersey launches new COVID-19 information website. The state has a new website devoted to its response to the pandemic, covid19.nj.gov. A new testing center will open at Keene University. The first county-run testing center will open Monday and be by appointment only. Patients must be Union County residents, first responders or essential county personnel. Patients also need to be registered through their doctor or healthcare provider to make an appointment. Drive through coronavirus testing site in South Jersey ready to go but has no kits. The testing site at Camden County College on Peter Cheeseman Road in the Blackwood section of Gloucester Township has the personnel and personal protective equipment but not the testing kits. An official said the site has been ready for a month. First rapid coronavirus test approved. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved the first rapid coronavirus test, which produces results in about 45 minutes. An FDA spokeswoman confirmed the approval after an announcement from Cepheid, a Silicon Valley molecular diagnostics company. Churches offer Sunday services online. The ban on gathering of 50 or more people includes churches. So many have turned to offering online services. Here's a list. N.J. Man who dies in PA. Hospital had tested positive for coronavirus. A 61-year-old Washington Borough Man resident died Friday night at St. Luke's University Hospital in Fountain Hill, Pennsylvania. The man's primary cause of death was a head injury from a fall at home, but that the virus might have contributed, officials said. Assemblyman is first elected NJ official to test positive for coronavirus. State Assemblyman Clinton Calabresi, a Bergen County Democrat, said he learned the results after taking a drive through swab test at the Bergen New Bridge Medical Center in Paramus on Tuesday. Bon Jovi keyboardist David Bryan tests positive for coronavirus. Bryan, a Tony Award winning Broadway composer, has been in self quarantine for a week after feeling sick, he announced on Instagram. The 58-year-old, who grew up in Edison, added he's been feeling better every day. NJ students weigh in on homeschooling. While there are perks to learning from home such as sleeping in and more time to finish assignments, students miss seeing their friends and interacting with teachers. Coronavirus cases in the United States. There are 26,747 cases across the country with 340 deaths, as of shortly before 7 a.m. Sunday, according to Johns Hopkins University. Coronavirus cases worldwide. Johns Hopkins reported more than 307,00 cases with more than 13,000 deaths as of about 7 a.m. Sunday. 
Italy announced its biggest day-to-day -day increase of infections, which rose by 6,600 with nearly 800 new fatalities from the virus that causes COVID-19. The country's total death toll of more than 4,825 has surpassed the number of deaths in China, where the first cases emerged late last year. If you would like updates on New Jersey-specific coronavirus news, subscribe to our Coronavirus in NJ newsletter. NJ Advance Media staff writers Matt Arco, Brent Johnson, Bill Dewart, Nick Devlin, Rebecca Panico and Michael Saul Warren contributed to this report. LehighValleyLive.com staff writer Nick Falson and the Associated Press also contributed. Jeff Goldman may be reached at Jeff underscore Goldman at NJAdvanceMedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at Jeff S. Goldman. Find NJ.com on Facebook. Have a tip? Tell us. NJ.com slash tips. Get the latest updates right in your inbox. Subscribe to NJ.com's newsletters. Get the latest updates right in your inbox. Subscribe to NJ.com's newsletters.